Okay. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my talk, Making of a Mosquito. Uh, here are my details. I would love to talk about myself more, but we only have 10 minutes, so we got to get through it quick. But again, if you have ever seen um, me on the internet before or, or in any of my talks, you'll kind of know that I really want to get people into creating things, and I think it's the best way to learn and teach and grow um, and all around have fun. So the reason that I wanted to make a mosquito in the first place was to explore the Web Audio API. I wanted something not too crazy and not too simple to learn. The Web Audio API can be a little intimidating. It even mentions that in the MDN documentation. Um, so I built this beautiful sanity chart to track uh, my sanity over time. I like the chart at this point because uh, it shows that sanity could potentially go above one when that is truly not the case. Um, but with every project, you kind of just got to start with your building blocks. Um, and for me, that is a small HTML page uh, referencing a script. And in that script, I just have one single line to begin, uh, let context equal new window dot audio context. The audio context is uh, how you access the web audio API. Um, so if we were to look at my mosquito, and I just have to emphasize how much I truly despise this emoji, um, it would just be the audio context. Now to get noise from the web audio API, you need a couple more things. I need an oscillator node and a gain node. Um, and don't worry, I'm not going to owl you here. I'm going to go back and explain these. But the, way that I, the reason that I want to do it this way is because this is how I built it. And then I kind of reverse engineered backward towards making the mosquito. So if I had my code, I would have the context. I'd be creating an oscillator node. You can see that it comes from that context, that web audio context. I'd be creating a gain node. And then I would be connecting my gain node to the oscillator node. And I'd be connecting the context de destination, which is the output, the speakers, uh, to the gain node. And then I also have to add a button in, um, because back in the day, we allowed auto playing audio, and the world ruined it for everyone. So this would be my mosquito at the start. And this would sound exactly like this. A very annoying buzz. Uh, kind of space noise. Uh, my sanity immediately started to go down. Um, I immediately had to search how to reduce web audio API volume. Um, and lo and behold, up comes the gain node. So we figured out what that does. Um, it also mentions in the gain node, never change this value directly. But I never stopped to think if I should. And I decided that I will just change that value directly. And it reduced the volume to half. And that one that you heard just then was actually half already. It was really, really loud. Uh, so if we looked at my mosquito now, it would be an oscillator node, a gain node, and an audio context. We know what the gain node is, uh, but what does this oscillator node do? Well, it turns out that the oscillator node is responsible for emitting a sound wave, uh, much like this sine wave that you see here. Um, and it has a few properties uh, on it. It has a frequency, which is the frequency of the wave, and it has a type. Um, there's a bunch of different types of uh, of waves that it can emit. And of course, a mosquito would be the most intimidating sounding type, which is the sawtooth. Uh, and then I did a little research into frequencies of mosquitoes. And um, there are a lot of videos online, upsettingly. Um, and I also kind of learned that you could just jack the frequency up to about 10,000 and make that noise that only dogs and small kids can hear. Uh, do with that information what you will. Um, so I played around with my oscillator node. Uh, the sawtooth, again, was the best, uh, the best node type for this. And I set the frequency to about 750, and that gave me a mosquito that sounded a little like this. Very annoying. I had to reduce the volume again straight away. Sanity is at an all-time low of 0 0.8. The graph has figured out now that it's not going to go above that. Um, but this mosquito I would call the base mosquito. It's the yarn create mosquito, the npm init mosquito, the user bin mosquito. That's where it would live. Sanity is falling at a rapid rate at this point. Um, I've been playing with this for 30 minutes or something. I listened to mosquito videos. It was all kind of going crazy in my head. I decided that I need to stop the mosquito noise. You know, at the moment I was refreshing. It was really difficult to debug. Um, and the oscillator had a start and a stop. So I thought, okay, let me just plug that in. Uh, to the mosquito. So I can press that button, I can press it again to stop. But at this point, I'd already closed all my tabs multiple times because I felt that I was still hearing the buzzing afterwards. Uh, I decided to add a clap audio noise to give me a small, brief moment of satisfaction. 
So there we had our clap and our ending of the mosquito. I decided to add in uh, some ASCII art because I was really losing the plot. Uh, and then I found this when I tried to start my mosquito again. It turns out you can't. Uh, restart an oscillator node once you've called stop on it. I have no idea why. Uh, my best guess is that once you clap a mosquito completely out of existence, you can't obviously clap a mosquito into existence. Uh, so I had to do a bunch of different things here. Um, I had to start the oscillator node when I initially clicked the button, and then otherwise I would disconnect or reconnect the gain node. Uh, my sanity again took a big hit here because I knew that every time I stopped the mosquito, it was secretly oscillating behind the scenes, uh, waiting for its opportunity to strike. Now, if we think of the mosquito that I have at the moment, uh, this, again, here's the noise. Well, you can hear the pain, you can feel the pain. Uh, the equivalent of that would really be a mosquito just kind of sitting, hovering above us, uh, at exactly the same spot looking down. And although that would be intimidating, I kind of wanted to um, make the mosquito a little bit more bumbling and frustrating than the, the stuck mosquito in the sky. And between that frequency and, uh, and type option, there was detune. I didn't really need to read what detune was because at high school, a lot of people played Wonderwall on their guitar and I had great experience with detune. Now, my sanity is low at this point. It's below the 0 0.6 line. Uh, that I call the insane or genius line. You know, I've set up my uh, citronella candles. I'm spraying everywhere. Oop, I'm in trouble for doing that. Okay. Uh, but I decided to build the mesquite engine. And the mesquite engine is what I was going to use to detune the mosquito. So if I were to just set that originally up on a sine wave, you can hear then that it goes up and it goes down. As, as with the sine wave. Now that mosquito would just be kind of hovering up and down, which again would be intimidating, but not completely what I was going for. Um, so I decided to, rather than completely just keep adding to the sine counter, putting it round and round, I decided that 25% of the time uh, I would move backwards and 50% of the time I would move forwards and the other remaining 25%, it would just stay static, which gives us this staggered mesquite engine. I call mesquite engine 0 0.5. And if you were to listen to it, you can hear that there it is much, much more like a mosquito. Um, I felt that it needed a little bit more variance, so I added a small pusher and puller in the middle of that. Uh, this variable will just go up to 0.6 or down, and it would just randomly 50% of the time go up or down. Uh, that small little push looks like this. And if I were to attach that uh, to the end of my already, uh, rotating, broken rotating mesquite engine, I would have what I call mesquite engine 1.0. Now, that is a mosquito if I've ever seen one. But now that I've got this mesquite engine running the detune, why don't I connect it to all the pieces? If I connect it to the gain node, I can control the volume and it can go up and down again with the mosquito. That is really starting to get onto the annoyance of a mosquito. And I thought, what else do I hate about mosquitoes aside from everything? And one thing that's really difficult about mosquitoes is trying to triangulate the noise when they're in your room or they're near you. You know, you're looking up, you're trying to find it, you want to get it. Uh, and it turns out there was one more beautiful piece in the web mosquito API called the stereo panet node. And the stereo panet node, which I'm going to connect to the mesquite engine, of course, uh, controls the left or the right speaker. Now, I'm not too sure if this will come over the stream, but this was my absolute complete mosquito. Infuriating, infuriating, infuriating. Uh, that is my talk. Thank you, everybody. Uh, presenting this to you, of course, has brought my sanity straight back up to the top. Thank you for the time.